Welcome back. Tell us which one is the one I need. Okay, so... So one covers hills and another here covers jungle. Okay. So A and B are the ones that I want. So I notice. It also makes sense you can get photos like in the villas or something. Because these spots are pretty cool too. And as it is, there's just no reason to like walk around on these. As cool as they are. So A and B both sound useful for me. Thank you for flying with us today. I'm the pilot of this aircraft and your guide, Max. Enjoy I'm Matt. the flight. We have sunny skies today and the current temperature is 88 degrees. We've probably heard this before. I'm going to be showing you some highlights of the Kauai Marine Resort. So I'm just going to be looking around. Water sports and land activities for everyone at our endless summer resort. This will only be a short trip, but please enjoy the view from the sky. I appreciate that the game gives you ways of like flying over things just to get a look at everything. This covers most of the resort. Our aircraft is currently flying over the naturally created Wild Hills off-road. Oh, it looks very natural. The, resort, the dune buggy is almost as popular as the marine bike. And guests aren't the only ones who enjoy racing along the hilly roads. There's the one foot though. Sharp turns of the wilderness in Wild Hills. It's a big hit among the local residents as well. If you think you're ready for the thrill of off-road driving, you should definitely give it a try sometime. Oh, is that the spot where you uh, jump into the... Yeah, that's the spot where you go to the secret area. There's not much to see here. Of course, the... render distance for, like photo spots or not is only so long, but I saw nothing there really. So can I consider me convinced that there's nothing in that area? So now we're doing something a bit more over Mary Bay. Oh, music. Got that photo spot clearly. Our aircraft is currently flying over the Mary Bay. Below us, you can see Sunshine Beach, where the hotel and resort buildings are lined up, and Eternal Beach, which has been left in its natural state. The beautiful scenery makes it a very popular destination. I wonder how possible it is that I just like forgot to take a photo At of all the these Mary spots, Bay, by the way. Our guests can enjoy everything. I also got a photo spot over in that like hidden bike. area there. Would be nice to get a little bit more confirmation that they didn't somehow miss something over on internal. Now for a little information about Eternal Beach. The natural surroundings are very much as they've always been. It's been left for the most part untouched. So it gives you the chance to appreciate a different side of the bustling Mary Bay. You can get to Eternal Beach either by walking or by riding a marine bike over the bay. Yeah, I can see that. It's just, it's just connected. <laughs> Thank you for flying with us today. Hmm. Oh, no. All right, so the next stop is in the ruins. If I don't see anything 
on this flight either. I'm gonna have to imagine that it's something fairly... Something a bit more hidden. I don't know where that could possibly be. Kind of hot. Enjoy the view from the sky. I think it I would hope it would cool off by this time of day, too. There's one photo that I'm certain I've already gotten. Ancient waterfall be like. Please I feel like most of them are caged. As we fly over. These ruins were built approximately 1500 years ago, and it's said they were used for holding festivals. The island had a very unique festival, too. All the inhabitants of the island would play hide and seek. They say the victor was given vast amounts of treasure and hailed as a hero. Heroically hiding. So please give them a visit. No, I feel like this show me much I haven't already seen, but And nothing new, so. so trying to keep count like in my head how many I mean, we've seen six then is there I I guess we've seen let's see if we can look on the map there have any places to choose on the map you've seen I believe one around here one or two one closer to here or here I saw one Kind of east of here. Trying to get more. Trying to be a bit more specific. So there was one. So there were two, by the jungle. There was, I believe, one in the, in the, in the cove. There was one in, in Chibi's cave as well. Here I saw, one, towards this side of the beach. Another towards this side of the beach. How many places have I seen like on the beach? How many? So this might kind of want to make just kind of to make sure I didn't somehow I'm afraid to take a picture or something. That's not a sound my remote should make. So you got... Good here. One right over here, I think. Yeah, so one. Here at Sunshine. I think there's another on Eternal as well. I think I was keeping track of them when I first... I was keeping track of the numbers when I first came through here, too, and I'm pretty sure you can't actually access the eternal from here. Ah, uh, I remember that caused me issues a few times. You know what? It's 
I found one sunshine. I believe there is one in Eternal I want to double check on. Nunchuck did not like that. Oh, my entire controller didn't. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Controller. Hello. Your granny was, uh... <laughs> Granny's just going somewhere. It is a requirement that you begin to function. This has happened a few times, but it's worked again every single time, so... Usually pretty quickly. Should I just, like, fill with the battery spit or something? Double check it. And it looked like I had a fine... How is Granny still going somewhere? I think I had a fine battery level earlier. Oh, is one of these just dead? Well, yeah, none of these batteries are dead. So the whole like press to check the battery type of type of thing. That would be the controller. More like. I appreciate you working. I don't believe I have another controller. No. Oh. This game kinda of requires motion control, so I need a controller to work. Um I'm just wondering where Granny's gonna end up. I'm not, I haven't even been watching her, so I don't know what she's been doing. She's going somewhere. Oh, there we go. There we go. And I just, for some reason, making and loading a safe state helps fix the battery. Now it says the battery's dead. What was that? I don't know. Anyways, back to Eternal. Ray managed to turn around and then I think I actually like start going back to Eternal again. This is not how you do that. Granny. There we go. So what was it? We had one photo on Sunshine. So it's not like battery's almost dead, so maybe I just need to swap them out, but like I said, had three... Three bars out of four earlier. And the batteries themselves say they have plenty. So where's the photo spot over here, guys? I believe there was one. On internal. Is not being very good to me. Right. Sometimes I love to say that the remote actually disconnects, which is good. I think that's how it actually. There you go. Like in this case, it didn't help. Darn it. Uh, I guess I'll replace the batteries for a second. I guess I'll see if that fixes it, but I also need the game to acknowledge the... I need to recognize the controller again. I might have to restart the game to get that to work, so... Give me a second. Okay. Yeah, it seems like replacing the batteries just made it work fine. Not why that is, because the batteries themselves claim to have plenty left. Whatever. Where was that one photo spot? I'm 
pretty sure there was a photo here. I think that's all. Pretty sure there was a photo here on Eternal. I don't remember where, I guess. I, there was definitely one or two even here during the day. I thought there was one. During the sunset as well, in the afternoon. I just don't remember where precisely. I could be misremembering that part, but I thought maybe there would be one. Why are you talking about that one stage so much? Turn. Maybe I'm just remembering this part? I guess that's possible. So there's one in Sunshine. There's one in the Cove, I believe. I think just one. Maybe something like in a cave around here or something. I feel like I've already been over here specifically. Not there, but the one behind me. at the end here, once you started turning into the jungle. I don't remember having any difficulty finding photo spots in the daytime version. It was right over here though, yeah. So that's, that's only two so far, isn't it? And there's the, there are the two in the jungle, one by the waterfall, one by the one by the ruins themselves. So that's four so far. There is one, I believe I've only seen one so far in the, in Wild Hills, which was actually in GP's cave. So that's five. Even then I'm missing one. I only have six so far. Another no, two in Wild Hills, because there's a second one also overlooking the, the beach. So that's all six. So I have only one around the whole beach for some reason? One down by the cove. And two in the jungle and two in the... Uh, by a certain logic in Wild Hills, if you include the, what's it called? The cave, the secret cave, Chibi's cave in Wild Hills. Which makes me think, like, why is there not one that I'm missing here around the beach? How is there not another one here? Skipping through, skip. Give me more balloons. So I have, my best guess would be like just based on the density of these, that if, if I was missing anything, it would be somewhere here by the beach. Like you would think there would be plenty of photo opportunities by the beach. I only see one right now. 
which sounds wrong to me. I don't know if trying to like guess it by density is a good idea or not. I feel like it would make sense. Of course, I won't be surprised if there's another back by the cove. It's just that there's not, for some reason. The cove, for some reason, has, like, nothing there. So the one photo spot here is actually down below me right now. right there. Why is there not another photo spot here? So I thought there was another photo spot in Eternal. There's not? Will... Flight number three show me this area a little bit better? Oh, this goes over by, is this one by the cove? Actually, that could be useful. Enjoy the flight. We have sunny skies today, and the current temperature is 88 degrees. We should have a okay, I guess the temperature has changed by 3 degrees in the past few minutes. The Marine Resort. We feature water sports and land activities for everyone at our endless summer resort. This will only be a short trip, but please enjoy the view from the sky. So how much stuff is here? A no photo, apparently? But it's apparently pretty enough for them to have a, a tour around it without photos. No, they're actually just not even acknowledging it. They're just calling it the open sea as if it was just, like, empty. Will you? Yeah, I thought that was a segue into actually doing so. This is just nothing here. Except that one photo. Our craft is now flying above Rocky Ridge Cove. It has been. We identify it by its rocky outcroppings and chain of small islands. With when nothing on them. In this cove, you can perform air tricks using the rocks. Or race in and out through the rocks and islands. Rocky Ridge Cove is especially popular with guests who are looking for a little more excitement than what can be found at the Mary Bay. Try to be scientific about this. Actually, waves here. You enjoy riding a marine bike. I don't see much of anything. You definitely want to give this place a visit. It's also great for practicing air tricks. I used to practice here all the time in my younger days. So there was really no photo on Eternal, like none. Eternal just seems like the place to get a photo. So cheeky too, like they own the IP, they can just tell you what it is. Uh, 
I don't get it. I really don't. Thank you for flying with us. Why is there not a photo here? It's the most obvious place to have a photo and there just isn't one. At that point, I might just give up for the time being. Not that I really know how I would ever try to recover from this. Because I have no idea where else to look or anything. If I could... I just... I have disbelief that it's on the beach, but I don't know why it would be. I don't know where else I would look. If not here. It's clearly not on the cove. We just saw an entire area of the cove. I don't think there are many, like, interstitial areas to explore, either. And they're, like, in between these that... Okay, that was a good jump, maybe. They could feasibly have something there. It also makes sense if there was something around the Asia cell itself, but there's not. I don't know why. I feel like there should be something here. GB! Oh my god. There's just nothing here. So I guess uh, look, I can cut it here. The next episode instead. Maybe we should. Stop, Granny. Jeez. Maybe I wish there was more to just like do while swimming here. Because this is a cool area. It looks really nice. There's just nothing to do here. The knock and lock is where that one photo is. So strange. And we check the cave. There's nothing there. What other like, weird spots are there here? Think of any other places you can go. I already checked like northwest, that one little secret area. We checked the cave. We checked Chibi's cave and we checked the tunnel as well. Can't think of any other areas that are like not just one of part of the big main areas. Out of the big main areas, it feels like it should be here or in the cove. And it's definitely not in the cove, because you can see that pretty easily when you fly over it. But then why is it not here? <laughs> Alright, I guess this is a point where I have to... to call it. So apologies for this many episodes of just, like, looking for a, a person to take a photo with. I'm open to suggestions on how to find things if people haven't gotten them already in the earlier episodes. But what we can do now, then, is... I guess we'll just head on over to other places to do other stuff, like riding all the vehicles and stuff like that. Otherwise, I don't have anything to do. Alright, well, see you then, I guess. Ah! Bye, Chibi.